You know the one thing that this movie and the Snyder Cut have in common? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome back to another awesome video. And today's movie is going to be of Shrek. I feel like we know this story by now, so let's just kind of get that out of the way. And this movie is directed by Andrew Adamson and Vicky Jensen. Now this movie came out in 2001. This was around the hype and the height of CG animation, and especially with Pixar on the horizon. DreamWorks felt like they had to compete and they really swung hard with this movie, with having satirical and very mature humor, and being very self-referential to the fairy tale genre, while also genuinely telling a fairy tale film about an ogre named Shrek, voiced by Mike Myers, who originally was going to be voiced by Chris Farley, but unfortunately he passed away and the studio went with Myers. Now, we all know and we knew that Mike Myers could be funny, and he is funny, but I love aspects about his character like layers and the onions, and I know that's a meme and that's a joke, but that does have a self-deprecation about insecurities and that I know I'm an ogre, I know I'm a monster, I know I'm ugly, I know I'm lonely, I know all these things. I can be gentle, I can be kind, and I can be emotional, I can be sensitive if you get to know me. Pretty much saying, I have feelings too. And the Scottish accent, which apparently Scotland is considered a working class ethnic type people and Myers adding that to the character speaks volume and the rest is pretty much history I mean Eddie Murphy is funny as Donkey, Cameron Diaz is fantastic and wonderful as Princess Fiona, John Lithgow as the villain, Lord Farquaad is iconic, kinda underrated in terms of DreamWorks villains, I kinda like him a tiny bit more than the Fairy Godmother. At this point the music is very iconic with thanks to the late Smash Mouth, rest in peace to Smash Mouth. Now I know a lot of people love the first Shrek movie and people just love this movie for what it stands for and it being the first CG DreamWorks film and breaking ground and doing all those other things. But I do have a few small nitpicks and a few like gripes about the first Shrek movie. Like, I think one or two jokes that really don't work for me, but the main thing that I really don't like, I guess you'd call it the liar reveal story, or I'm not sure what type of trope you'd call this, but it's very cliche. It's the moment when, when Shrek finds out he overheard the conversation between Fiona and Donkey and he misinterprets and misreads what the conversation was about and that he thinks it's one thing, Fiona thinks it's another thing, they are mad at each other and then there's a lot of like moping and melancholying and all these like feelings and all this other stuff happening and I will at least say this, that I do love the song and the usage of Hallelujah. I think it's my favorite rendition or one of my favorite renditions of the song and I get the point of this sort of like plot twist, plot reveal, whatever. You have to have the, the characters sort of let their emotions feel and marinate and everything. But I feel like it drags on a little too long. And it kind of does feel a little cliche. And I know this came out again, 2001, the year I was born. But kind of looking back on it, it kind of holds up, but doesn't hold up this scene. It just goes on for too long, and I know that they do express their feelings for one another, and they show how much they love each other, and that's great, but I feel like they could have maybe trimmed down a little bit more, or maybe it could have gone a little bit different. I don't know, but other than that, I will at least say I am going to give Shrek, I am going to at least give it a solid C, maybe a C plus, but I will at least say a C plus. So the first Shrek movie, what do you guys think of the movie? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to watch videos every day, if not every week. Make sure you ring that bell to new videos every day of week. Share the video with family, friends, all that good stuff and more. Leave suggestions in the comments. You name it, I'll look at it as best as possible. Depending on when this gets scheduled, I'm probably going to have this uploaded before May the 4th. But assuming this is going to be up before May the 4th, look out for May the 4th because I have something big and planned for May the 4th. And a few other things just throughout, sporadically throughout this month, next month, so forth, so forth. But if this is after May the 4th, make sure to go check out that video.
But either way, whether it's before or after, make sure you just go check that video or tune in to that video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.